Our coverage is brought to you by two-time Case of the Year winner Fantex, the always incredible Corsair, and NCIX. So Razer has been on a roll for past few years with announcing some major new projects, products, and initiatives in the past two years at CES. They have a flair for the theatrical and this year proved much of the same. First off, Razer is taking on VR, but not in the way you would think. They don't view other manufacturers like Oculus as competition, but more or less partners at bringing VR to the masses. They presented the OSVR, which is open source VR hacker kit. Retail prices are going to be fairly inexpensive, at 199 They believe strongly that they have good tools needed to help to facilitate the growth and investment into this platform. And if needed in the future, uh, Razer can take what they've learned uh, so far and compete. But for right now, they're just looking to push the innovation into the VR category forward and get more people on board. So this is a bold move. Razer also showed off this little streaming box based off Android TV. This is Razer Forge TV. It's small, but allows for pretty decent streaming of your PC games, a lot like the console mode with the Nvidia Shield, but with no GPU restrictions. That's very important. From what we understand, the streaming will be limited to 30 Hz only, so you can imagine the type of gaming this will be limited to. It's got a Snapdragon 805, Adreno 420 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage, running Android Lollipop. So with the included Android controller, this is an attractive Android console, you know, if you're into that. It connects to your router via Ethernet. Driver software automatically picks up the connection to your source PC, and the output video stream is routed through the HDMI to your desired TV. It is designed to live in your living room. There's a single USB port included to connect your peripherals, plus uh, an ambient green light at the front to indicate its power state. Coming a little later after the launch is an impressive little lap pad keyboard and mouse set. They're both wireless and can hold a charge longer than anyone one can really game consecutively. Uh, the keyboard has a charge of four months. That's pretty cool. The most impressive part though is both the mouse and the pad are both magnetized. This matters a lot because you're not always going to have a perfectly flat base to play with and this magnetization will allow you to move freely without sending the mouse flying. Plus because the mouse sensor is in the center uh, you effectively gain an extra inch or so of movement around the perimeter of this very small pad. And so from our experience, it was plenty. We really look forward to testing out both of these products with samples become available, so please stay tuned to our channel and hyreknox.com for more upcoming videos and articles on this Razer Forge TV ecosystem.